Hello, 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 it's Nikki Manching, and guess what? I'm back again with our next set. It's timeless in their regular scheduled uh, host team slot here on this special t uh, Sunday of the month. Welcome, Timeless. What is up, everybody? Hey, we are so glad that you joined us here at the Double Nickel. We are in Davenport, Iowa, and we are here to serve your bar and or entertainment needs. I am Arzuk, and uh, I'm having a good time. Hope you are, too. Hope you're enjoying your night. Uh, we're going to make it a little bit better, we feel like. Uh, that's that's what we promise. Uh, I, you know, and uh, I think there's no one that can promise that more efficiently, more uh, confidently than... Um, Frank. Frank is somewhere. <laughs> He's probably getting ready. Uh, but uh, if he stops by, I will grab. Oh, Frank. Oh, there I he am is. ready. I am Let ready. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Double Nickel tonight. And a special welcome to any of you that were taking the riverboat cruise that comes by town because you might have heard our subliminal whale song advertisement. We paid a little bit extra for that, but it was totally worth it. And, you know, if you heard that and you understood it and you're here tonight because of it, thank you so much. You get a half price drink. Just mention it to the bartender, Patty. But first, let me introduce you to Frida Conchita. She's the woman that puts all the food on the plate here, and she's going to tell you about what we're serving up tonight. Frida. Hi, Frank, and we're so glad you guys came here. It's so great to have you back. We have a special this night because of the Riverboat Cruise, and it's going to be a Cajun special stew, along with our regular roast beef, our pot roast, our macaroni and cheese, and our lobster casserole. That's a special one, too, just this week. So come on, get your grub, get your drinks. Hang out with us and be part of our family. I'm going to introduce you to Patty, our wonderful bartender, who is going to tell you the drink specials. Take it away, Patty. Hey, everybody. It's so good to see you. I missed you this weekend. It's pretty exciting. We've got the river boat in town, right? So summer's here, and we have a special on my own invention, the picnic pickle, lemonade, vodka, and just a little splash of dill in it. You'll love it. Just a little bit of every taste you can imagine, because I want to make you happy. We also have other drink specials. I'll tell you all about it. Come see me at the bar, and I'll make something special just for you. Now, let me see. Um, DJ Slash is having a little trouble getting here. Maybe yeah, he just texted me. He said that um, he's running a little bit late. He might not show. Bummer. Uh, All right, Zook. Talk yeah. to you later. See you soon, everybody. Thanks. Hey, uh, I'm R. Zook. Uh, you already know me. I'm the guy that put uh, Ryan Reynolds and Jeff Bridges and Ben Stiller together to do uh, a redux of A Night at the Opera uh, on Zoom. It was amazing. <laughs> Uh, and and various other things. I'm sure you know who I am. I'm the person that books the entertainment. Uh, and uh, we have a big night planned for you. We have the riverboat coming through. Uh, we have um, Barbara Streisand is going to be here. Uh, so I've so I've heard according to my uh, according to my WhatsApp. Uh, so uh, we are eager to get things open and get things rolling, and for you guys to get here so that we can share a beautiful night together. So we'll see you in a minute. Hey, uh, Patty, you know, oh. I just, oh, I just need to get my parking validated real quick. Oh, sure. sure. Oh, no problem here. Okay. Oh, double validated. There you go. You're Thank safe. you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to check with you. You know, some people I heard muttering about maybe using whale song to popularize the bar was cultural appropriation. Do you think that's true or, or is it okay? I mean, the whales were were totally into it. The whales learned their lines and they delivered on time. You know, I have to say, I don't often say this, but I really don't know. I could say if the whales are being appropriately compensated and if oh, singing yeah. is their thing, 
and uh, you know that they have a legit contract with the recording company. It's just like any other musical entertainer. You want to make sure that they're being taken care of. Do we know that, Frank? Yes, yes. We signed the contracts, and they slapped a, a flipper onto it. So as you know, that's that's good. It's a wet flipper print. Wow. Yeah. So it's, so it's, where are these whales from? Oh, well, they just they just swim around. You know, they they come down from somewhere. I don't know, but they're they're now following along behind the uh, riverboat because people throw breadcrumbs and croissants and you know whatever they've had to eat for lunch. They throw the leftovers to the whales. Yeah. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Why is that not on the front page of the Davenport sofa? Your guess is wow. as good as mine. Maybe, wow. maybe they thought it was cultural appropriation, and we knew it wasn't, so we got it right. first. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, what matters is what the people think, what the customers think. Hi, Frida. Right. What do you think? What's up, right. Frida? We just we just found out that there are some protesters outside of the bar protesting mistreatment of whales. They've got signs, and they say that they're from from PETA organization. What are we gonna oh, do? Oh, oh, we no, should go ask him no. if they want a drink. Let's no, see I, if they I got want this, some water limit. You know, Peter was one of my old girlfriends. You know, I, I I think I can talk with these people. I'll go check on them and see what they want. Uh, I don't think you understand, Frank. What? Never mind. Uh, see what can do. Never oh mind. Oh my god, I'm so conflicted. Free to listen, be while I have you. Yes. Do you think a ponytail makes me look more youthful? Turn around. Yes. I think so. But I mean, I know the ponytail is useful, but does it make my does it make my face look younger? Mm, no, just from the back. I'm really worried about getting old, you know? No, from We're the so back exposed you, from to the back you. you look twenty years younger. Maybe even thirty. Most of the time I'm facing people though. Yeah, that's true. What about the How, what about a page boy? I could try that. Is that no your yours is cute. Oh, I mean, I don't special. even know how old you are. I mean, I know we're about the same age, but aren't you a little scared Honey, about age, getting old? Age is just a number and mine's unlisted. I'm gonna use that. And my TikTok um, aphorisms, yeah, TikTok aphorisms. You should do TikTok aphorisms. But how do you cope with like, like all the wrinkles and the sagging and stuff like that? Does it get you down? Well, you know, you could try. They have these facial gymnastics. Now watch. You go like you're like you're a lion roaring. Try that. No, we don't want Zook to see this. Oh, hi, Zook. How are you doing? Yay. I think he thinks we're a little crazy, but that's okay. I, yeah, I think he got what we were doing. I just, you know, I just want to talk to you sometime about how to cope. I, so, uh, we'll, we'll I, I talked to the folks outside. Yeah. And they, they overheard some lions in here, and now they're adding lions to the whales problem. <laughs> and I don't, did, were there lions in the bar? Did you guys let lions in the bar? Yes. No, we didn't let lions into the no, that, bar. That would, be, that would be lion if we said that. Here. Oh, I am I woman, hear me. I am woman, sure, hear me roar. Watch. Okay. I will let him know it was roaring women and not roaring. Yeah, women. yeah. I mean, I'm glad woman. we cleared Hear that the up. Old women roar. Okay, you want to put the kids to bed? Come on. So, I hope you didn't think we were doing something silly. I was just showing Patty some um, facial exercises. You never heard of that? No. You just go. It gets your muscles tight, so you look youthful. Why not just get Botox? Why get something artificial? This is natural. I feel like this is way more artificial than your normal face. I like your normal face. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Yours isn't too bad either. <laughs> thanks. Hey. Uh, Good news. I heard back from Judy Collins. Uh, yeah. Looks like she'll be able to do tonight. 
uh, oh, she wants great. to do, yeah, she wants to do uh, farewell to farewell to Tarwathi. That's uh, that song that she I does about the. Me. Uh, it's an album she recorded in 1970. Um, it's a um, it's kind of it's a song about a whale. She still about remembers a... the lyrics. Oh yeah, she's only 82. 82. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you can tell her impressive. about the. Maybe you can tell her about the facial gymnastics. I, I have a little bit of a crossed schedule because Chris Christopherson was supposed to was supposed to play tonight. I don't know if they're going to want to do a duet. I know they had a thing about a star is born. Yeah, you don't you don't want to get a crisscross with her. I see what hey, you did there. Hey Sook, I heard Barbara Streisand's coming from that. Are you kidding me? Do you know what her favorite drink is? Uh, uh she is into uh, I think it's called a black and white cookie. Uh, but she's actually not going to be here tonight. Oh, okay. Disappointing. Judy Collins, though. Yeah, I got Judy Collins. Oh, cool. Yeah. We'll have Tom Collins's and special. That's Perfect. Perfect. I, I gotta get back there. Beautiful. Right. I love it. So, how have you been lately? Oh, I'm fine. You know, I just never get a chance to talk to you. You're just sort of, you know, buzzing in and out and so busy booking things. I just, you know, I, I worry about you sometimes. Yeah, me, I'm fine. Yeah, you always say that, but I just, I just sometimes have a sneaking suspicion that things aren't always that rosy. It's you know. I just, I just want you to know that you know you can you can talk to me anytime, and it goes no further. I promise you that. Thanks, Fred. I appreciate it. Yeah, things are just quiet right now. You know, things are. It's like a little bit of like a down mode. You know. Yeah. Well, if you just need some uh, some local humor or listening ear, I'm always here. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have, have good luck with the booking. Thanks. Oh. Yeah, I got to call her back. Let me just call her real quick. All right. I'll see you later. See you. Okay. Okay. The PETA guys were really a different bunch to, to deal with. But I think I've convinced them that we weren't mixing whales and lions. So that's taken care of. And I think they understand that the whales were cons you know, um, remunerated. We gave them their money. They, they got paid. The whales are making bank. The whales have got mad money in their fins. So I think we're OK with those guys, but they're just gonna hang around outside the bar because that's what they do. They like hanging around and, and you know, looking like something's going on. So it's good publicity for them. And as long as they don't block anybody from coming in, I think the PETA guys are okay now. I got a question for you, Frank. Yeah. Um, do you mean PETA, the people, uh, the people that are trying to save animals? Oh, or, I those? don't know who PETA is, PETA, but- PETA, it's-, it's the, PETA the, would make- PETA is, is the guys that uh, like to give uh, thinly baked bread to whales. PETA! PETA, yeah. I got you. I That's got what you. They were doing. You know, and, and yeah. you, can, you can like fold them and make a little sandwich. It's really convenient because that I, the sandwiches are easier to throw if you fold them. So. And Frida makes that killer appetizer, killer appetizer with the PETA. I know, it's so good. But, like killer whales. But yeah. Frank, oh, that's going to be in the next ad. Thanks, Patty. Frank, what's it like being old? Uh oh. I I wouldn't know. I've never tried it, but you know, <gasps> one of these days, I'm I, I'm thinking I gotta. You know, you gotta try everything once. Catch you later, hey, Frank. How'd you make out? How'd you make oh. out with the? Oh, we're good. We're good. Peter, okay. Peter's a great bunch. They're fine. Right. Invite them in for drinks and appetizers. I don't know. They don't. They like to hang around outside, mostly. But I'll, I'll see what they want. You know, I'll get, I'll get a, a drink order from them. Okay. Yeah, do that. Uh, the do people, that. They're all customers to me. What? The mm. PETA people are throwing some blood on the front door. You, you know about what? that, right, Frank? Oh, it's not real blood. It's Halloween blood. You know, they get oh. a they get a like a year's supply of it at a time. They love that. Is stuff. it? Is uh, it crowd gathering? Are the police here with no, sirens? Please. It's like I mean, eight or nine be... guys, eight or nine people. Oh. 
well, I can't yeah. say guys, eight or nine men and women. They're, you know, it's a, it's a nice mixed bunch. I don't know why they well, don't just come in. We've already got the riverboat here. If we could add on a bunch of protesters, we could have a really good night, you guys. I think those two would get to get along real well. Yeah, because they yeah. like to feed animals oh, off the boat. Uh, maybe Slash could play whale sounds. Only licensed, copyrighted whale sounds. Yes, no? yes. It's got to be that. We're it's dancing. Be that. Because, you know, some of those whale sounds are actually like, um, well, the original singer midgets from The Wizard of Oz, they did a whale oh. sounds album. But, but, you know, there wasn't a lot of market for it back then. It was not a popular thing. I just I bet. Listen, I'm out of here. I just, uh, I don't have time. For, but I, I, I didn't okay. mean that. Okay. But I got nope. stuff to do. Bye. Hey, talk right. later, Zook. Yep. I don't know why she's timeless. She's. Seems to have plenty of time. Doesn't make sense. Mm. Oh, well. I booked Judy Collins for tonight. So oh, uh, no Barbara? No, no Barbara. Oh. I got Chris Christopherson. Which Chris I was trying to do a, Yeah, know. if we if we had Chris Christopherson, man, it'd be great if he could do a duet with Lady Gaga. That's that what I was be, thinking. That would be hilarious, I think. It'd be yeah. fun for everybody. Perfect. But yeah, he's free, but she's not. Yeah. Uh, James Brolin has some kind of an awards luncheon or something that supposedly he's running late or I don't I don't know something. Oh, it's all about family. Yeah. You gotta support the fam. I guess I'm just um I'm just thinking it seems like I don't know, I was listening to some of the stuff that PETA folks were saying and there's a lot of meanness and cruelty in our culture with rigid boundaries between like humans and animals and culture and nature. And, you know, I think humanity sometimes cuts us off with having essential relations with other species. So well, I, I was just hoping tonight we could conjure up some magic we're, that would we're help all, the whales. We're all animals. Uh, if animals like magic, I'd say that's a great idea. Some animals do, some don't, you know, some animals get panicky, but Wait, I wasn't even thinking of magic magic. I just meant like magic, but I could oh. see, I'm not sure which one it is, Siegfried or Roy. I think it's Siegfried. Uh, one of them's still alive. I can check. Yeah, if they're if they're available tonight and they can, you know, take the boat down. Yeah. All right, let me get on the horn. I'll let you know. Thanks, Luke. Well, this is going to hey, be Frank? interesting. Yeah. You know, Slash is coming in tonight because I thought we could play some you know, some uh, soothing whale type songs, maybe. Well, I'll, I'll look through the collection and see what I can find. If not, I've got my kazoo back in my office. But, you know, I'll see uh, if I can find some whale songs in the album collection. I'll okay. pop one on. Yeah, I think there might be some in there. All right. I'll check. All right. Hey, how have you been doing? <sighs> um, uh, I've been better. I've been worse. I'm okay. Uh, things yeah. are... Things are getting back on track now. So, uh, yeah. you know, things are opening up. We're not the only place in town that opened, even though we opened first. Yeah, and, I know um, the place down the street is kind yeah. of trying to seal our business. We, we won't I, mention which one. Yeah, I don't think there's a chance of them. They're, they're just, uh, they're doing what they can, but we got our customers. We got loyal customers because yeah. of you, because of Patty, because of the great acts that Zoop brings in and because of the tunes that uh, our lovely DJ who is not here tonight but uh -huh. usually is he usually has a good reason oh yeah oh I'm sure happen. he does I, I mean his car broke down he, he might be out there chatting with the PETA folks and just you know hadn't found a way to break away because you know he's that polite about things he just doesn't want to yeah. insult anybody if they're doing a conversation thing so uh I'm gonna go check on some whale sounds and we will see what happens. All right, I think that'd be nice, nice soothing. We could put it on the loudspeaker. Maybe that would uh, pacify them a little bit. Yeah, it's a, it's happy music. How you oh, doing, Daddy? Uh, I'm okay, but I'm a little concerned that Slash isn't here. You know, we finally went out last Friday and- um, Yeah, how'd that go? I think it was, it was sweet. It was very sweet and nice. And you know, we love Slash. We love Slash. Um, and he loves us. And I just, he's so shy. It's so hard I, to bring him out of his shell. I know, but here's the thing. I mean, I didn't know what to expect. I'm pretty sure he didn't know what to expect, but I think both of us kind of made a, 
had in the back of our minds that there might be some sparks if we ever spent serious time yeah. together. And, you know, there just wasn't for me. And I hope he doesn't feel like, I, I mean, I love him. You love him. We all love Slash. Did I mention that? You know, we all love yeah. Slash. But, but I think not, you and you and he have something special going. He's He's just so caring and you don't see it, but I see how he pay special attention to you and does little extra things for you. I and think I subtle. see it. I think I see it. I, it's just, see, I'm worried now. That's why he didn't come to work today because, you know, it, because he's so sensitive and I, I, mm -hmm. I don't want to feel responsible, but you know, it, it just wasn't, I'm still hung up on Al. I, you know, I can't let mm -hmm. go of that relationship that we had. And I just don't think maybe the time isn't right. Maybe I'm feeling too old for it. I mean, that's a while ago, happened. though. I think, I think you should try to move on. Oh. Well, I still have Caroline and I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh. Does this sound like a whale song? I have no idea what a whale sounds like. Oh my God. Like that, yeah. Like but Frank said he was going to go try to find one or else play the kazoo. Right. Try to find some whale sounds to try to soothe the PETA people. Or it's not people. that catchy. Oh. Uh, it's, it's not catchy. Huh? You can't oh, dance to it. I couldn't find the album, so I was just playing some whale songs on the kazoo. Ah, it takes a lot of wind. You know, what, you know what we could do to spice it up? Sue, can you do beats while Frank does his whale sound? Whale rap? Whoa. I mean, Whoa. I don't know that you need words, but you could do some beats. You you could can... make up a rap song, I bet, Sue. You're good at that. Yeah, I, I haven't made up a rap song since Houdini. Oh. <laughs> That's a rap. Well, I don't want to push you into it. I mean, I'm just being selfish. I'd love to hear that. That would be so much fun. That's another magic reference. That's oh. two. Means it's going to happen tonight. Something well, magic. Bad news. Uh, I checked in. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, Frank, but both Siegfried and Roy died. No. No. At the same time. One of them no. died a while ago. and One of them the got bit by a lion. Yeah, the Siegfried Roy. died. Roy uh, died initially, and I feel I feel awful. I haven't, I haven't talked to them in so long. Oh, so now I guess yeah. we got to add the tigers to the list. If we already have whales and lions, we're gonna have to add tigers to the list too. Okay. I love tigers. Yeah, me too. It's I just it's just a small red and yellow metal kazoo, but I will try to mix tigers and whales. I'll do my best. Who's, who's the boxer that had a pet tiger? Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Tiger Woods. Yeah, he's in oh, Atlantic Mike City. Tyson. Yeah. Mike's in Atlantic City this weekend. He's not available. He's uh, going to a bar mitzvah. That for... seems like you know that tiger. I think would be need some representation. I could because see that, that would tiger, that yeah. had to be a difficult owner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm on it. I mean, he has a, oh. a reputation. Oh. <laughs> oh. I got a tiger. I got a whale. I got a lion ready to sail. You come down and I'll mix you a drink. I don't care if you stink. You love Peta. You do not. You can come down or else you can run. I don't mean that. Else you can not. Just me trying to find a rhyme, you see. Wow, <laughs> nice. Nice work. That's a, that's a good start, Patty. Oh, fun. Too much fun. Oh, I'm too busy at this bar. Hey, if you set us up and you let us say the last word, that's the same way the Beastie Boys started. Oh, yeah? yeah. Second City, it. too. See yeah. if we can do a rap song. You get the first, I'll get the last. <laughs> that didn't rhyme though, darn it. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Well, right, I'm gonna up. go make up the rap song about the double nickel, but I don't think anything rhymes with nickel oh. except pickle. And we've got a special. Ooh, uh, the we've double nickel is the place to be. Judy, is that you? Hey, I got it. I'll be right back. Yeah, no, we're still on for. Okay. All right, the double nickel is the place to be. 
Come on it's down you. and you will it's, see. Yeah. Good one. All right. But you know what? I it. really have to get that to work. All right. Me too. Talk to you soon. Me too. See you later. I hope Wiz Khalifa doesn't call about that uh, rap they just did. You know, it was it was fine, but uh, you know, it's cultural appropriation. Really, it's we're, we're trying to be really sensitive about this with the whale guys outside and everything. But you know, we're just doing our best to try and keep our head above water. Hey, we're so glad that you came by. Uh, I'm going to do a quick wrap for you about whales. Uh, if you want to go to a place in Spain, go to Tortuga. You can meet a nice whale there, uh, Beluga. That's all I got for right now. But stick around uh, <laughs> you are when you come back. Thanks so much for sharing the night with the Double Nickel. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you, Timeless. Come on back up, everybody. <laughs> And Slash is here in spirit. Kevin sends his love. I guess they're not going to tell you their names. They're going to oh. leave it. They gave know. us. I'm Rick. Uh, I'm Linda. And I'm Ted. They are timeless. timeless. They're Ted. here the same Tuesday every month. Hi, I'm Nikki. Thank you, Timeless. Everybody, Bye -bye. thanks Thank for staying around. Everybody. We're going to be back follow in a few us on minutes. Facebook. Every follow part yes, with follow your, in your pen. And follow check us on out. Facebook, the Double YouTube. Nickel. Write to us. We'll send you our home address. You can follow us around. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll do that. Don't okay. Goodbye, everybody. Bye -bye. We'll see you in a few minutes. We've got Get a Room up next.